Christ, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Access video. We're going to learn a little bit more about Access uh, every lesson. So what we want to learn about today is how to restrict values in a cell. Okay, so uh, we've already learned that for birthday, um, we can only have a date after the year 2001 or something like that. So now we're going to do the same thing for gender, but we are also going to show you a different way to do it. So let's recap what we learned last week. And that was if you go into the table design view, okay, for gender, you can also see that there is a validation rule. Okay, so for birth date, we entered this rule where it's saying that uh, the date has to be after 2002. So for gender, we're now going to enter a validation rule saying that the gender has to be male or female or N, which stands for non-binary. Okay, actually, let's... Um, Let's just change let's just change the data first before we do all that. So let's go back to the data view. Let's just change this to male, female, male, and then let's say this one, let's just make Brendan nom oops, nom binary. Okay, non binary, uh, obviously someone who doesn't classify as either male or female. Um, so obviously, if you have another gender, sorry for not including that here. Um, this is just the IT tutorial. So now what we want to do is um, in gender, we want to add a validation rule and we're saying it has to be male or female or non-binary okay so let's just check that yes uh yep save so test the existing data with this rule test it okay so all the data that we have already satisfies this rule if it does not satisfy we will say you must enter either male, female, or non-binary. Okay. So if we do enter something else, let's say we enter females or something like that, it'll say, come up with an error message. Okay, so that's one way to do it. The other way is we want to make it a drop-down box. So there's, it's impossible for people to get it wrong. So let's go back to gender again. And instead of letting people choose, uh, letting people type whatever they want, okay, what we're going to do is we are going to change this to a lookup table. So go to gender lookup wizard. Okay, and I'll look up, I'll type in the values that I want. So it's either going to be male, oops, male, female, or non-binary. Next, uh, do you want to limit entries to the choices? So if you tick this box, it's saying that you will not allow people to type in what they want. Okay, so we won't in case you have another um, gender. Allow multiple values. So that is when you want people to say they're both male and female. If you want to do that, we won't allow it at the moment. So you can allow it if you want. So let's click finish. Okay, so now let's see what it looks like. So if you want to 
go to some someone you can either choose male female non-binary or you can type something in but um if you type something in you've got to satisfy the requirement anyway the about data validation rule that we've set up all right thanks for watching guys see you next time thanks for watching guys see you next time